Now at six, the flooding and the finger pointing in Broward County. We cannot stop the rain, but a lot of people think this disaster could have been prevented. CBS 4's Gary Nelson joins us now live from Davie. Gary. Well, there's not a whole lot of finger pointing going on here. I can tell you we're at the Rexmere Modular Home Community in Davie. Down the way, you can see there's still plenty of standing water on some of the streets. Not nearly a dramatic, as dramatic a picture as we were seeing at this same time yesterday. But the fact of the matter is that towns like Davie, Plantation, Weston, um, Sunrise, that saw some considerable flooding simply are not equipped to deal with what is essentially a once-in-a-century event. In the Davie suburb of Vista Falar Thursday, a pump work to drain still inundated streets, a stalled out car sitting in the middle of an intersection the day after what's being called the flood of the century in some South Florida communities. And some who've endured the misery wonder, how could this have happened? I'm very upset. I've contacted every possible office and most of the time I've just been bounced around and we haven't really gotten any response as to why this happened. The folks who run the canals that drain the ditched swamp we live in, the Water Management District, says it started opening the floodgates last weekend. Our structures and our pump stations are running at their maximum capacities. How busy have you guys been? Very busy. Municipal crews like this one in Davie have been very busy, trying to dry up what for some towns has been a hundred year flood. You've had a 11 to 12 inches of rain that fell within 24 hours, which is unprecedented in the town. So we're, you know, responding to such a situation that no one's seen before. The Sawgrass Mills Mall and Sunrise remained closed for a second day. A town spokesman saying the mall and city have good drainage, but your cup, maybe once in a lifetime, runs over. You know, it's South Florida. It's happened numerous times. I don't know if I'm angry at anybody. It'd just be nice to get this thing pumped out as soon as possible. We don't know if these cows were angry Thursday, but they sure had a time of it finding a dry place to rest a spell. And that pasture uh, that adjoins a body of water that overflowed will uh, drain here over the next couple of days, as will this uh, modular home park. It's going to take a, a day or two, but the water will go away. In the end, various municipalities, the county and whatnot, will use this as a learning moment, this uh, once in a hundred years event. For now, we're live in Davie. Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News.